we have benefited a lot from this partnership in terms of funding. And uh, there's no question about that. It's something that we haven't talked about yet. Um, but the funding for us has allowed us to collaborate more widely with people internationally. So it's not just about having funding for funding's sake. It's about what it does for us and what it allows us to unlock. And for us, it's more partnerships with more stakeholders, more people who we wouldn't normally be able to reach. So it's really important in a number of different ways that we have partnerships. When Roger and I first met, you know, I remember it almost as if it was yesterday because it was a cold Friday, it was a winter's day, it was snowing. And I remember having to go and see two large corporations. And my perception was, you know, and I'm openly acknowledging that, and Roger and I have talked very openly about that, was, you know, what, what am I doing here? You know, just look, just look at this, you know, this environment. They talk a good story about equality and diversity, and then let's look at people. But actually, you know, Roger opens up with, I know what you're thinking, Kieran, I'm white, male, stale and pale. And um, I just remember thinking, gosh, you know, is it that obvious? But what it did was it allowed us to open up with what I call an authentic conversation. So sometimes business partnerships and university partnerships are seen as if it's some kind of business deal, but it has to come from a place of mutual interest, mutual concern and issues that are real. We're too ready to almost get into the contract stage without having nurtured those relationships, without being kind of clear what each other is going to, to bring to the partnership. You know, from your experience, what kind of advice would you be giving, you know, to somebody that is excited about the prospect of starting and wants to start but thinks, gosh, you know, this is on top of everything else. You know, I've got my teaching, I've got my research. You know, why would this be important? Um, I make a really passionate case that partnerships and engagement are going to be our future. You know, they, they make a real difference. And um, research that makes a difference and informs is so vital and critical. Really welcome your views and perspectives. Thanks, Karen. So I've been working in academia for a number of years. And uh, when I did my PhD, I remember very clearly thinking that the university was a place for me because from here I could change the world. Um, and I think every PhD student starts off like that. Um, and they truly believe that we can change the world. And I think this is the way that we can do it. So this Despite the additional work, and it is additional work, there's no question about it, despite the additional work, it brings you back to that initial purpose that you have for working for a university. It is to make an impact and to do things better. Um, so that's very um, uh, abstract. But in practice, the programme which I manage is also a £10 million programme. So you can have both. You can make an impact on the world and progress the career that your, your uh, path is on. Um, and the question is, are you willing to invest the time in order to make the big difference? And I think uh, if you think that you are, you should probably test it out on a small scale discussion. And it all only takes a discussion to start with to see if there's an appetite for uh, pursuing something. If you get excited by a conversation with a potential partner, then you're probably the kind of person who's going to enjoy that partnership. If uh, on first conversation you think this sounds like a lot of work, then actually you probably need to think about whether this is the right partnership or whether you are the kind of person who will benefit from it. And there are people who won't. And I think trying to force a relationship between uh, partners is always going to be really hard work. Um, and I think you can lose a lot of energy for, for doing it with the wrong partner. So spending some time finding the right partner in the first place is something that you, you can never overinvest time in that area. So what's key is that it's, it's an absolute imperative, you know, partnerships, engagement matter, and they matter for all the reasons that we've, we've outlined. But let's not forget, you know, hearing the debate and discussion, they take commitment, you know, they take persuasiveness and they take passion. Each of you have spoken so passionately about the work, the research that you do, but the implications of that research. And our business leaders have talked about social good. It isn't enough simply to produce, you know, the goods or the services, you know, they have to have some impact. So I think I'd like to finish, you know, um, this particular part of our debate with three key messages. 
One is about how you foster and build relationships, which is based on mutual interest and trust and co-collaboration. Something about being engaged and working on engagement, which allows us to think about how we share our knowledge, how we share our talent, how we share our resources, but also how we measure the important things through the kind of change interventions. And then something about the enacting, in the doing of it, that allows us to both influence and create impact that helps both change not just local communities you know, and policies, but also society and economy in ways that we may not have thought about when we first started you know, um, on this journey. And the other key message, which I thought was so powerful, is about um, enhancement, how when you actively engage with your external stakeholders, how our research becomes amplified, you know, its relevant, its reach, its significant, becomes even more meaningful and making a difference, but a difference that counts.